Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gorgon Manorino, Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. This is my pre-market report. Let's start off with this here, people. Headline, flash, imagine our shock. Inflation continues to rise. As a matter of fact, it's way worse. This report that we just got this morning than was anticipated by everyone, except you and me. Uh, imagine how surprised we are. Wait a minute, can we, can we get the shock face together? What? You mean inflation is rising faster than we were told it was gonna? This is insanity, okay? It's not gonna stop. How many times have you heard me say that? There's no surprise here whatsoever. Look, you wanna talk about a fable, a lie on a grand scale? Let's put this together. You and I have been told since I don't know how freaking long when they start, when the central banks, the Fed, started raising rates that a miracle, a freaking miracle was going to occur and all of a sudden inflation was gonna disappear by some act of the divine here. How about no? Let, let, let's go a little further here. We have been sold, you and I and the people of the world, again, by central banks incrementally raising rates, little by little by little, uh, again, all of a sudden, this was going to turn around. It can't be stopped. All right. Uh, how do I put this another way? Central banks have gone literally out of their way to create inflation by propping up the market since the last meltdown, buying everything, uh, flooding the world with epic sums of debt here. And now we have a situation that you and I knew from its inception would eventually play out all of these extra bills in whatever form they exist in chasing the same amount of goods or in this case a lesser amount of goods and we're going to run into a resource problem. That's what they're setting up here. Forget about this, okay? Um, this is no surprise to a single person, not one, that follows this blog. I'll tell you something else that's kind of interesting here. There's a lot of uh, people who... <laughs> What's the definition of insanity? Uh, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. There are some that believe that the Fed is going to raise rates further. Okay, look... Uh, that would be the definition of insanity in my view. And there's going to be no accountability here whatsoever. It's all about a stranglehold on the world and a stranglehold on the people. Look, we are marching directly into a worst case scenario. And speaking about that, what you can expect soon, okay? Um, do your own research on this. Come up with your own conclusions here. But I have almost no doubt that we are going to see a direct attack on Iran by Israel. Okay, just wait for it. That is going to have a, a, a ripple effect, which is obviously going to be designed into the system. What am I talking about? A direct attack on Iran by Israel would, of course, cause crude oil prices to spike. You would see a flee to safety, you would see cash make its way into the perceived safety of debt, 10-year yield would fall. Now, speaking about the 10-year yield, here's a market strategist, Mike Wilson. Look what he had to say. This sound familiar to you? Stock traders should watch the 10-year yield more than the CPI and so for anything else. And speaking about the 10-year yield, yeah, there is a there is something profound going on here. Uh, we got a, a significant jump higher in the 10-year yield on the back of this. 4.5 on the 10-year yield and a knee-jerk higher into the dollar. There's clearly a fear trade going on here. The market is... Uh, I guess trying to figure out what the Fed is or is not going to do come June, July, whatever. I'm not going to change my perspective on this just yet, honestly. I still feel that June is going to be the most likely time the Fed will begin to cut rates, despite the fact. I mean, don't take my word for this. Their own data is telling us what we already know. You knew this. You're probably laughing this morning watching this. It's not going to stop. I don't know another way to put it. Um, they, they got us all by the throat. Uh, and, you know, you, just, you want to talk about moralize? How about this one here? We just, you know, 
creature yelling, Greg, why do you do this whenever you think about me? You know, yelling over there, apparently, you know, this was the news that was broadcast across the propaganda ministry that this was a success. Yelling, Janet Yellen creature going to China. Oh, it made our relationship with China better. We're on a stronger footing. That's what she said. Well, apparently here, now the United States is seeking to isolate China with the help of its allies. That's because the meeting between between Yellen and the freak show over there, it went so well. It went so incredibly well that now the United States is seeking to isolate China here. <laughs> you can't make this up. Look, war, the expansion of war. Israel is going to hit Iran. I, I'm, I'm, I'm certain of it here. What is that going to do? Again, the ripple effect. And look at what I did here. War, all right? And I drew a little, a couple of little arrows here. The ripple effect is, again... You'll see uh, cash, crude oil higher, cash make its way into the safety, the perceived safety of bonds. Just let's, let's keep our eyes on that. Uh, you find this interesting? Here's a guy who obviously knows what he's talking about. Watch that 10-year yield. Um, a couple of other things you might want to be interested in here. People aren't as dumb as they think we are, okay? People are hoarding gold. Uh, they should be hoarding silver more so, but this is good enough, okay? Uh, people understand the situation that we are in, but it gets worse than that here. So this is according to CNBC, read this one, the rich are getting second, third, and even fourth passports um, seeking to flee if they have to, whatever nation they're in. Why would that happen? Why would the rich, who obviously have an edge on everybody here, they... they you know a little more than the average person does. They're privy to more information, of course. Uh, why would they be seeking to possibly flee? Because we're marching into a worst-case scenario. But, and I'll tell you something else with regard to this. Um, it doesn't matter how many passports. They're calling this passport portfolios. So the rich are collecting passports so they can flee wherever they want to. There's going to be nowhere to run. Nowhere to run. Anywhere. Okay, in a full-on meltdown of the situation, which, of course, we're leading up to. Now, before I go on, I ran this poll yesterday. This offended some people. Uh, I wrote here, uh, how would you rate central banks on my new scum of the earth scale? Uh, some people found, found this offensive. Oh, freaking well. Uh, it offends you that... I believe, and it looks like 95% of you believe that central banks are the scum of the earth here. Uh, it offends them that I said that, but doesn't offend them to know that they're being systematically destroyed and wiped out. That's okay. You can't make this stuff up if you freaking try to. Anyway, so on the back of this abysmal inflation report, where's the accountability? Let me ask you this. Why is it that right now, today, okay, there isn't a, an emergency congressional meeting being called to uh, hold the Federal Reserve, in this case, to account? To say, hold on a minute, you all told us this was temporary and transitory. You all told us that you had a handle on this. You all told us that this was going to go away by some miracle. How come it's not? Why does it continue to rise? You see, it's not going to happen. Because our so-called loving, caring politicians, all of them, are all in on it here. Everyone running for president, especially the ones that some of you think walks on water here. How come he's not calling this out? Because he can't. Imagine my shock here. It's unbelievable, people. Uh, as I've been telling you since forever, we got to take care of each other here, and we are. We, we've been so far ahead of the curve on all of this, it's just frankly incredible. And I'll tell you something here. Does this, this, real quick, quick, does this frighten you at all? Because this should let you know something, that, um, that these passport portfolios here, the rich are anticipating a major event, just as you and I are. You see, we're not too stupid here, but I don't think there's anywhere to run. Um, honestly, this is... A fantastic piece of news, in my in my view. More and more people are waking up to the fact that they're being systematically wiped out. And Mike Wilson, heads off, hats off to you, buddy, for telling people the truth. Watch the debt market, because the debt market is key. And if this offended you, my scum of the earth scale, you probably don't belong here. So I don't know. Go 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 somewhere else. Look for a channel that's gonna blow rainbows and sunshine straight up your crack. Uh, and anyway, what do you think about my? Uh, 
my prediction here that we can expect a direct attack on Iran uh, from Israel here. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of time, um, probably within weeks in my view. But just expect that too, for the reasons that we discussed. War must be propagated. Who funds all of this? I'm going to give you one guess one more time here. This is a pretty profound thing. Anyway, with that said, that's where we are. Um, stock futures lower across the board, substantially lower after the sell-off in the debt market, 10-year yield rising. Um, you've got a fear trade going on, U.S. dollar on a relative strength basis took a knee-jerk higher. Gold and silver are lower, cryptocurrencies are lower, everything is lower right now. Uh, looks like a pan sell-off on the back of what you and I clearly knew. I mean, it's all propaganda anyway. But uh, And if these are the numbers they're allowing us to know, can you imagine what they really are? It's not going to stop. Once people wake up to that fact, maybe they'll start thinking that something's wrong. But uh, it's not going to happen. Most people are, are in a uh, deliberately induced sleep state. They don't know who they are what they're doing, or why they're doing it. They don't. And that is the dumbing down of society on a worldwide scale here. Although the people here in the United States take the cake. They have no clue. They've been so polarized. They've been so propagandized that they don't know which way is up anymore. You can't blame them because they're stuck watching the tell live vision uh, and the programs as their minds are being screwed on an epic scale. Because they're not allowed to think. All right, people, look, we covered a lot here. Uh, I want to hear from you on all, all of the topics we talked about here. And um, share this stuff, please. Get it out there. Uh, if you got something out of this video, if you're one of my team here, please, those thumbs up are extremely valuable. If the algorithms pick it up, the video gets seen. Uh, anyway, look, all right, look. We will see each other later, 4.05 p.m. Eastern Time for the live stream. Who knows what else they have in store for us people, but just expect the worst. But that means that you and I just need to keep ourselves on the right side of this. At least from a financial standpoint, we know what we're doing and we know why we're doing it here. Betting against the debt, becoming our own central banks, making the right connections, you know, uh, with, with like-minded people here, preparing ourselves from every level, mentally, physically, spiritually, you name it. We got to prepare for this because that's what the super rich are doing. And they're not doing it because it's fun. And there's going to be nowhere to go anyway. I'm going to tell you right now. There is nowhere to go. The whole world is going to be in a state of pandemonium as they take down the current system, which is exactly what they're doing, only to issue in a much worse one with a lot more control. You all know that. I'll see you all later, all right? Until that time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other.